Now I'm sure all of you are already familiar with the term changeling and the creature to which that name refers. But just in case there are any strangers just stumbling in, allow me to explain. You see, the fairies are often in the habit of kidnapping human beings and dragging them down to the underworld for various purposes. And when they do this, if they don't want to arouse suspicion in that individual's family or among the local populace, they will leave a double in this person's place. Usually a perfect exact double and usually this is done through great subterfuge and trickery and guile but not always. A Harry and Harriet Stottle had been married for a couple of years they'd settled down in a nice cottage not too far away from a fairy hill. And they'd been trying for a couple of years to have a child and one day, finally, Harriet's belly began to swell. And nine months later, they had a lovely, beautiful daughter. They weren't quite sure what to name her. But they weren't worried about that. They had months and months and months before they really needed one. But one night, a knock came at the door. Harry, he got up and he answered it and in shoved a fairy carrying a fiddle. He marched straight into the house as if he owned the place, sat himself down in Harry's chair by the fire and he said, here he is. This is a lovely place you've got here. It's absolutely delightful. But sure, listen, I've been feeling like a holiday. I think, I think I'm going to stay up here for a little bit in your house. I think that'd be great. But hold on a moment, hold on. There's a slight thing, slight thing. If I'm coming up here, someone has to take my place down there. And you two are, are far too useful for me to let you go. Like, who's going to get me my food? So, she... And here he pointed at the new baby. She can go down. She can go down for a little while. Sure, she's not missing anything. It's not like she's any use to me up here anyway. So, um, her lads. And at this, two more fairies came into the house, took the cradle by either end, and all three, the fairies and the cradle with the baby inside, vanished. Harry and Harriet, they had no idea what to do. They didn't know how to go and get their daughter. They didn't know how to go about that at all. They didn't know how to get rid of this full-grown man of a fairy sitting in their kitchen. He'd played an impromptu concert every single night and all of the people of the town came in to watch because they were terrified of what he'd do if they didn't. All of the remedies, all of the methods of driving away a changeling that they knew, they were for a changeling in the form of a child, not a full-grown man. After six months of this fairy sitting there smugly in their kitchen, ordering them around to provide him with food, one day he finally got up and he said, That was lovely. Absolutely delightful. Thank you very much for your hospitality. But listen, I know, I know, I know. You don't want to see me go. And I know, I know, with me gone, you're going to have to deal with a bawling, screaming baby again. Who wouldn't rather have me here than that? 
but all good things they must come to an end. I'm going to have to head on home, my holiday is over. Now don't worry too much, your baby, she'll be back the second I'm out the door. But hold on, one thing, one thing. Uh, she can't marry anyone from this area. And she can't get married in this area. If she does, she'll be sucked straight back down into the other world and trapped there forever. Just a just little caveat for you to be aware of. Um, But yeah, yeah, other than that, that's all there is. Thank you very much for your hospitality again. Slon lot. And off he went. And the moment he was out the door, the cradle blinked into existence right by the fire. Harry and Harriet ran over to it, terrified that something dreadful had happened to their daughter, but she just smiled at them. As if she hadn't been gone a moment. They were very, very careful to have her marry in the next town over when that time came. <laughs>